What is it? I've been driving around for a long time. I finally had to come and see you. Has something happened? Lucy got married today. Oh? To Mitch Cooper, again. Oh. The Ewing seem to make a habit of marrying the same person more than once, don't they? Don't they, though? Anyway, when she was leaving, she said she wanted to be invited to my wedding. I knew she meant to Jenna. But something must have shown on my face. And Jenna saw it. What did she see? That it's you I really love. Maybe she just felt something, I don't know. Bobby, why are you telling me this? Because I can't marry Jenna. It would be wrong. It's you that I want to marry. Well, how could you do that to her? I think she knows how I feel. And she's just going to have to understand. It'll be better for her than being married to a man who's in love with someone else. So, if you still love me, if you'll have me, I want to marry you. No, we don't have to live at South Fork. It can be anywhere you want to, as long as we're together. Will you? Marry me again? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, I want you so much. I thought I'd lost you forever. I love you. beautiful you look in the morning. Mm. I remembered everything about you. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Including the fact that I know you're ticklish? I'm not very. you. Mm. How would you like to see Daddy every morning? Yes. Well, all right. I think we can arrange that. Do you have time to have breakfast with us? Well, no, I'd better get back to South Fork. Hey, champ. Come on, I'm going to carry you down to breakfast, OK? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mommy. You didn't tell me. What are you going to have for breakfast? Eggs and toast. Eggs and toast? That sounds awful good. Can you eat all those eggs and toast? Yeah. There you go. I'm going to set you down. And there you go. Will you be staying for breakfast, Mr. Ewing? Uh, no, thank you, Louise. I won't. But maybe dinner. Listen, I got to go now, so I'll see you later. Goodbye, Daddy. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Come on, I'll walk you out. 